Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this real sick effects slash transition easily in your music videos. We'll be mainly using Sapphire for this, so make sure you have it. But if you don't, I'll be leaving some tips on how to recreate the similar effect using the default effects as well, so it can be really helpful to you. So without wasting any more time, let's just jump into it. In my timeline, you can see I have this three clip, which I'm gonna make those effects slash transition on firstly we want to make the effect on this clip the middle one the long clip right here so selecting this clip hit ctrl alt y on the keyboard to make an adjustment layer or you can just right click go to new and just make an adjustment layer like that then just trim the adjustment layer to your layer size so it's like exact if you want to automate this process you can use like a workflow you can see it like trims and also it adds other things as well so i'll link it in the description it's pretty cool as well but let me just resize this right now and firstly we're gonna add a white bubble in here so firstly in here so firstly in here we're gonna add a s shake s shake if you don't have uh, sapphire shake you can use shake sauce too or shake sauce the original one or even or even the wiggles that comes like with after effects if you search up like wiggle position you can use this and like play with the values and stuff to get the same result but we're gonna use the sapphire sake for now so firstly go over to the frequency and set it to 10 and go over to amplitude and in the first frame make the amplitude to 2.5 and make sure it is keyframed and hit you on the timeline to bring up all the keyframes like this and you can go ahead and just and just lower down the value to zero so we have a little shake like that we're gonna make this better by selecting it easing it you can even turn on the motion blur on the sapphire stick and just select those keyframe again go into graph and make a similar graph like this so a similar graph like this would work so a simple graph you can even make those keyframe a bit closer if you want and you can see we have the sick right here so if you don't like the sick you can always like go over to the seed and play with it to get it to your liking so let's just get a random seed right here something like this yeah that looks pretty cool right there you can see we have a bit of hit right there to start off so now our sake is also done and super quick i just want to let you guys know that i just launched my ultimate grunge bundle and the ultimate grunge bundle allows you to add those crazy grungy aesthetic to your music video that you see everywhere right now it comes with 60 plus assets in it and in my website there's an insane bundle going on it you are really getting like 27 dollars off on it so hurry up and grab the pack right now the link will be in the description let's get back into the video now we're gonna add the wheel so to make that wheel we're gonna use a very underrated plugin called sapphire warrior bubble you can see it's like turbulent displacement but it's like a lot better than turbulent displacement if you don't have sapphire you can always use like this normal turbulent displacement and lower down the size and stuff and you can get it to the similar look pretty easy Easily. but now we're gonna use the sapphire bubble so firstly put it before your sapphire shake and turn on the sapphire shake for now and and you can just lower down the frequency a bit and hit the stopwatch on the frequency go a bit further to like seven or eight frames or even longer if needed then you can just start lowering down the value to around one so we have this like bulb going on that's exactly what we want now also hit the stopwatch on the amplitude and do the same thing so at the end set it to zero and now you can just easy ease your frequency keyframes go into graph after easy easing just head over to graph and you can just make a similar graph like this so a graph like this would work on it so it's a little more faster so it's like a bit impactfully as you can see that's exactly what we want then now head over to your effects controls again and hit the stopwatch on rotate warp direction on the warp bubble as well or if you want turbulent displacement you can just animate the seed of it like this you can see it also has seed right now but we're gonna use the rotate warp direction and if you want turbulent displacement again you can just animate the frequency and and for the frequency you can use the size 
on the turbulent displacement but now after hitting the stopwatch on the world rotate go a bit further and make like over to the last keyframe and just make it 360 i guess 360 yes sir and going back to frequency again in the last keyframe i think i'm gonna set it to something like zero so 0 0.1 something like that now we can also easy ease your rotate warp direction and lastly in warp bubble we're gonna go over the seat and make sure you are holding alt in your keyboard just hit the stop watch in there then it will bring up your expression now in the expression just write time asterisk and something like five so it rotates like five times on the seed now if you see your wiggle transition you can see we getting there we get in the look that we want and it looks so cool the warp bubble so now let's just hide this enable our sake as well with it so we have some impact right there then what i like to do on it is add like a distort chroma and put it before my asset and just bring up the blur lens to around like 500 to 600 maybe something like 700 also works so then after that just hit the stopwatch on the amount go a bit further and just set it to zero as well and now you can see we also have some warp chroma going on with it which i really love you can even bring up this amount if you like more so something like that looks really cool to me we are also done with distort chroma now then in here you can also add like an optic compensation hit the stopwatch in it and also go to reverse less distortion just check that and bring up the keyframe put the zero keyframe a bit further and you can just bring up the optic compensation to like 100 something like that easy is those keyframe and then head over to graph and make a tight graph on it so it's really like short so something like that looks cool to me you can even put this a bit further then after all our exposure in the beginning a little flash would be look cool so keyframe the exposure then finally finish it off with the flicker so our sapphire flicker and just bring up the amount put it a bit further go a bit further and lower down the amount so now you can see we have the transition going on now you can copy this and put it around your other footage as well so like something like this if it's like too long for your clip you can select all of these keyframes you can just drag it closer then, then you can just put it on whatever clip you like also one more thing you can do is to automate all of this process so you don't have to like make this on every single music video you can just select all of these the effect that we added go over to animation save animation preset and in here you can name it like wiggle stick and save it wherever you want preset it will be saved on user preset so you can use it anytime so now if i make like an adjustment layer in here and search up wiggle stick and you can see we have the preset right here you can see we already have that look really easily so that's a really cool clutch right there finally my final result looks something like this so if you like this video please consider in the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel for more content like this i would really appreciate it you can follow me on instagram join my discord server i'm really active in there so yeah see you in the next video peace